Welcome back. This is Keezus World Collections. I am Keezus, and this is my collection. Now, for all you people who are returning, I know I've been gone for a long time. I am sorry, but I am back, and I got two to three new bangers after this video. So you're going to want to stay tuned. And if you're new here, I'm Keezus. This is my collection. I collect memorabilia. I collect statues. I collect not figures, but statues. Now, to, for this video, I'm sorry if I'm a little rusty. I haven't been doing this for a while, guys. Check my last video. That's the last time I recorded. So please, please give me some grace here. Now, today we have a statue from Revenge Studio from an anime called My Hero Academia. If you don't know, you guys should watch it. Um, they're about to release their new season. I think it's season seven, maybe season eight. Um, I can't remember, but really cool anime. Now, this is the main character. His name is Midoriya, but you could call him Deku. And this, what you're looking at, is Vigilante Deku. Today, we're going to talk about it, go into detail on what I think about the statue and all of its glory. Now, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you give your um, opinions in the comment section. I really want to hear from you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Actually, I want to leave that alone in 2024. If you're going to like, you're going to like. If you're going to subscribe, you're going to subscribe. All right? And if you subscribe, then notification is going to turn on unless you turn them off. But you're going to see my video one way or another. So, y'all enjoy your day. Kick back, kick back, relax, pop the feet up, grab some popcorn. Let's go. And we're back, guys. Like I said, this statue is from Revenge Studio. This is Deku from My Hero Academia. He is the main character. So just a little backstory. This character, during this time in his life, he feels like he has to be alone. He feels like nobody else can do what he needs to do to catch the ultimate villain. He feels like he's him and all these powers he has wrapped into his body are the only people who can and will catch this villain or that ultimate villain. Of course he's wrong. His friends come and save him. Everything is kumbaya for the moment until more stuff pop off. But what I gotta say is that they really captured this statue. It is a smaller scale, it is one six scale, but I would even go on a ledge and say it's a little bigger than one six, maybe closer to one fifth, but it is a big one six. Now, overall thoughts on this statue is that it is amazing. It captures everything about this scene or about this manga panel, whichever one you read or saw first. It captures it, it gives you that moment, it gives you that despair that Deku felt, you really do see it in this statue. Now, right here, we have the the wall that connects to the base. It has the All Might portrait or little, just All Might on the side, right? I enjoy it. One thing that I don't enjoy about it is that it does cover up, as you can see, the main statue, Deku. It does cover up him quite a bit if you have it a certain kind of way. Now, if you wanna take that off, they do come, it does come with a replacement where it's just a normal side of the road look and it's flat and you get the whole statue you can see. Now, I probably will display that just because I love this piece more than I love that artwork that they have on the side of the wall. Now, going to the statue, guys, this is, out of all my anime pieces, this is one of the most detailed pieces that I have had that i have in my collection honestly not even just anime comic book pieces included this is one of the most detailed ones now as you can see the black whip that's the power that's around him it is translucent it is a little flimsy um it bends a little bit to your um if you needed to it does bend now putting them in to connect them was a little loose it was it didn't really stay if you hit it or if you bump into it they will come out that's not a big issue for me. As long as they don't break, I'm good. Looking around the statue, the base itself, the bottom of the base, it is big. It is like wide up top, and then it comes narrow more down the bottom, but it does take up a lot of real estate. I can only imagine if when if this was one fourth, how much space it would eat up. So if you guys do get one fourth, just keep that in mind that this is a bigger piece. Now, like I said, this wall, it's immaculate like 
it has so much detail in this wall where that's the reason why I would want to display it is because of that detail in it. Now, if I was to display this close, straightforward, it'd be a different story. Now, look at this, guys. The water, the, the water that it looks like he's stepping in, amazing. The wear and tear on his boots, on his knee pads, his gloves, his arm wraps, amazing. The mask makes him look like a monster, how it was in the manga. It is amazing. Like I said, um, Grand uh, Kate, amazing. The wear and tear on it, it's straight. It's like they ripped it straight off the page on the manga. And that's what I like, that's what I love. And that's why I collect these um, statues because they represent some of the most beautiful scenes in anime. And as you can see, the detail on the um, wall nice cracks in the windows, the rails, the light posts. A really good statue all in all. But next up, we're about to get in these close-up 360s so you guys can really just see what I'm talking about and the detail and the hard work that was put into this. Like, look at that, guys. An amazing piece. I think they really hit it out the park with this one. The water effect is second to none. I think a lot more statues, including comic book statues, should take note of this and maybe imply it, maybe improve on it, but put it together and apply it into their statue and their philosophy. All right, guys, so let's go ahead, get ready for these 360 close ups so I can hurry up and end the video. I'm not wasting your guys' time. All right, let's go. All right, everybody, so we're back here for the close-up 360s. Before that, we go and I stop talking and I let the music play and you guys get a real good look at these close-ups, I just want to show you there is the second torso. It comes with a base. almost forgot the base. I am displaying it like that. Like I said, what you see now is probably how I'm going to display it. But enjoy these close-ups. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.